Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV. I'm here with Polly Wright, who is the founder of We Are Cherished, a ministry that helps uh, women get out of the, the sex industry, the stripping industry, I guess is what you call it. She's also the author of the book, Cherished. Thank you for spending a few minutes here. Thank you for having me. Now, I grew up in church, you know, uh, Baptist church, not unsimilar to the one that, that you're in now. Mm -hmm. And we had a real dim view of strippers. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, a, that's about like saying, you know, Satan's best friends, yes. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> right, right. How should the church view these women? Oh, the church should love them and embrace them and encourage them. Um, and just have a different view of the women that are in the sex industry because uh, up to 95% of the women in the industry have been sexually abused. So there's a reason why we take that step into the sex industry. There's a reason why we you, strip. You say we. We. I was an, uh, a stripper. Mm, okay, so you know. Yes. And God got you out. How did God intervene to get you out? Um, I actually had a suicide attempt. Um, and never danced again after two years of dancing because okay. of the depression and the alcoholism and all the, the weight of that industry is horrific. But now the suicide attempt wouldn't, did that bring you back to God? How no, did, I didn't even know God, I was atheist. Yeah. And because if a God so great, um, was so great, how could he let horrible things happen to a little girl? Sure. So um, I did not believe in God uh, until 1999, after I've been married for three years. We had our twin daughters oh, wow. and just um, starting to see people, see Christians and see people who loved God love me. Why do you think God let that happen to you? Did he let that happen to you? I mean, did he make that happen to you? What? No, no. Um, we have choice. We have will. And if God were to take away choice, he would take away love. And so... There's evil, and people do horrific things to other people. But as, as hard it is, as it is, I get to use my testimony to speak truth into life and to other women and men who have been abused. Um, yeah. that, that's great, but was it worth it? Yes. Really? Really worth it. How? Oh. Because I get to watch and walk with other people and find freedom where the evil has, the enemy has tried to take them out to and encourage them. It is absolutely worth it. You mentioned that, that we have a choice, that, that most women, I mean, we deal a lot over, you know, a lot of overseas situations where girls are forced yeah. into dancing or stripping and prostitution and things like that. Is that the case in the United States at least and in the West, or is it really a majority of women that walk in and choose to sell, you know, to expose their bodies for monetary gain. Yeah, there's definitely human trafficking going on in the United States, but then there is a huge group of women where I walked into the doors of the strip club. I was excited because now I was going to get a chance to control men. The world and the media, you know, advertise it being so sexy and amazing that I could be this kind of woman. And Did it feel that way while you were doing it? No, it was a complete lie. I thought I had control, but I had no control at all of what I did. And did you, did, to me, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know, but it seems like you would feel really just demeaned, almost dirty. To, I mean, I've seen the guys that go in these places, oh, right? Yeah. And they're not your all-American wholesome guys. I mean, some of these bunch of dirty old men in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. And, I I, you know, I can't imagine, how do you feel after that? Um, you feel prostituted, mm -hmm. you know, and then there are guys in there that are looking for the same hope I was looking for that I didn't know about, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, that hurt people hurt people. And these men are just as broken yeah. as the women in the clubs. Yeah. And so it's, it's a very demeaning business. And it's, it, you know, you have to be drunk to, or the majority of the women have to be intoxicated or using to even be able to step up on the stage and do really? what we do. Really? Mm -hmm. Was that a part of what you went through? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was an alcoholic, and I had to, to drink to even survive. How would you feel the next day? Horrible, if I remembered it. Yeah. 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 Given, given all of that, I mean, you know, for a guy to say, I feel called to go in strip clubs and witness to women sounds really <laughs> wrong. Mm -hmm. 
how do how does the church mobilize to go into strip clubs in the right way? Well, um, I really uh, would not encourage men to go into the clubs. Yeah, I agree. To to even speak to the men, to even um, talk with them, uh, just because the enemy, you never know. You never know where it might just trigger a guy because guys are so visual. Yeah. And that's how God created y'all. But um, yeah, thanks for putting me in that group. You're welcome. I guess. <laughs> well, you're, you're if a guy. If the shoe fits, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, you're a guy. So. <laughs> but God created, and it's a beautiful thing that he created. So I'll give you that. How about that? In the right context. In the right context, <laughs> yes. absolutely. And, um, but, you know, when we do outreach into the clubs and things like that, it, we are all women. So we have two teams that go out and... We're very purposeful in how we go into the clubs. You know, God is a God of order, mm -hmm. so very much purposeful. But we just go in and love the women. We don't go preaching the gospel because we are the gospel. Yeah. We just look them in the eyes and tell them they're loved, valued, and cherished. How does it work? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. God is really good at what he does. Yeah. And when we get to just walk in that and be powerful lights in the kingdom of darkness, it, it changes everything. There mm -hmm. is a shift and it's amazing. Very cool. Very cool. I, I want to hear more of your personal story. Mm. Um, and I guess I'll just have to go where everyone else goes. And that's lifetoday.org. You can see Polly when she's on with my parents. So check that out. And if anyone wants to get your book, learn more about your ministry, get in touch with you, how do they do that? You can go to wearecherished.com or go to pollywright.com. Great. Check out her website. Check her out on Life Today. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you so much.